this is the Star Wars Arcade, only this is on the Atari 800 or the Atari 8-bit home computer family. Of course, this was actually released as an arcade game uh, in your, you know, your typical 80s arcade back in, I think it was around 1983. And then uh, just based on what I'm seeing here on my screen, it looks like this came out for the Atari home computer uh, about a year later, probably less than a year later, in 1984. Um, the game itself... Uh, is one that I could, the arcade rather, is one that I could play uh, right now. I mean, the game holds up, it was fun. And the vector art sort of concept or graphic design uh, style was pretty unique um, and worked. It was kind of a, an interesting way to approach the whole 3D approach uh, to what they were trying to do in the game. And then, uh, you know, I always wanted this game on the Atari home computer when we got the Atari home computer, but we could never find it. By the time that, you know, I started expressing an interest in it and, and wanting to have it, I think it was around. Uh, maybe 1986 or so, and it had become pretty challenging, at least in my area, to find games for the Atari home computer. So I've actually, I've not actually played this game before. This is going to be the first time, um, and I can tell that it's going to be sort of difficult because as I'm moving the crosshairs around, I see it's kind of using the reverse pilot style controls, and it's not, it's not terribly smooth. You know, and of course, if you remember the the, uh, the arcade, you had that sort of uh, that that pilot console that made it pretty easy for you to to navigate and, and aim and fire. So uh, let's go ahead and fire it up and see how we do. We don't have Luke Skywalker's voice in it, unfortunately, at the beginning, which is always kind of fun. Oh, geez, yeah. So it's oh my gosh, it is definitely hard with these controls. This is not easy. And I don't even think I'm hitting anything right now. So these are the fireballs that are coming at me that I have to, you know, shoot and destroy before they hit me so I can maintain my shields. Oh, jeez. It is... It's funny. You don't get a feel for it unless you're playing it yourself, but it's surprisingly difficult with these controls. So I'm off to the Death Star now. We're, we mean business here. Let's see what we, what we got. Ah, jeez. Got snagged right away. Yeah, the controls are not easy at all uh, it's just it's not smooth it's not what you're used to if you're used to playing the game Man, I wanted this game so bad when I was a kid it makes me wonder if I would have been annoyed by it so it almost seems like my my best move is just to avoid the fireballs as opposed to trying to hit them because the controls are so difficult and they're a little, they're a little on the janky side oh, got it so considering that I didn't hit much it was pretty easy to get through the first phase, but the first phase was always kind of simple in keeping with the tradition of the arcade. Let's see what it's like in the next level here. So this is wave two. I think I hit, I think I hit a TIE fighter just now. Yeah, getting these fireballs, it's crazy difficult. Uh, not as though it's... I got hit by something? See, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even see what's coming at me half the time. Should I get that? All right. So I think this is where we see... Oh, good, yeah. So we see towers now at this point. Oh, jeez. Just trying to get the fireballs and avoid the towers. I mean, that was always kind of a difficult thing in the arcade, but it's excruciatingly difficult on this system. I think it just hit a tower. Good lord. Yeah, this is just tough. That fireball. Yeah, this is not easy. It's, I mean, it's a pretty close port of the game. You know, it closely resembles the look and feel of the arcade, but the controls make it pretty rough. Like, getting, like, navigating away from these towers and then trying to hit the fireballs at the same time, it's brutal. And then, I don't know if you can tell just by the way that the crosshairs move, but it's just, it's not smooth. Like, I don't feel like I've got any sort of diagonal control, which is not ideal. Yeah, it's really almost it's easier just to avoid the fireballs than it is to try to hit them. Oh, good. Thought I was going to miss. Alright, so we're back in business, and now we're starting on wave three. And I think... Shoot, I can't even remember what wave three is like when you start to go into attack the Death Star. 
I know that I'm not hitting any of these guys. Jeez. This, by the way, is what it feels like to be a stormtrooper in the movies. I'm getting destroyed. Alright, let's do this. So I've... I've got my six shields. I've got... I'm head, I'm head on with a tower right now. Yeah, if you see my crosshair, it's going way off to the side of the screen, and you're wondering what it is I'm doing. That's I'm just trying to navigate away from the towers. Jeez. It is just not easy to do this. Ah. Ah. Alright, here we go. So we're going to the trench this time, and if it's like the arcade, then we actually have obstacles in the trench that we have to navigate through. Oh man, that's going to be not enjoyable. Ah, whoa. And they're super quick. Oh my god. They come at you fast. Oh my gosh. Ah. Man, ah. And they're shooting the fireballs at you at the same time, which isn't, it's just mean. It's just cruel. Whoa, whoa. What am I supposed to do about that? Somehow I made it. Alright. At this point, it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to get too much farther. Which is probably for everybody's own good. Except for the TIE Fighters that I don't hit at all. I think I got one. Oh man, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Ah, jeez. Ah. I'm barely alive right now. Alright, let's do some tower kamikaze. Some fireball, duh. Alright, I'm down to the two shields. This is not looking good for me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. One shield. Ah. Shields are gone. The game is telling me I'm effectively hosed at this point. A fireball that I can't aim at or hit. Got two towers. Uh. Ah. Uh. So my shields were gone. I thought I was about to die, but I have nine shields now. I don't know what to make of that, actually. I'm a little stunned right now that I'm still alive. Ah! I may have actually really used the force, which is, shoot, pretty surprising. Oh my gosh. This is incredibly hard. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do about that last one? I can't believe I hit it. Anyway, uh, I encountered some sort of a bug, apparently, that, uh, I, at least I think that's what I what I did. I don't know if there was a continue or a seamless continue or, or what, but I was out of shields and I'm still alive with my shields replenished and I'm good to go. But that's, uh, that's the game. It's it's kind of what you remember from the arcade, but the controls are a little on the janky side. Kind of difficult. I'm using a, a USB controller. I'm not using the classic Atari controller, but it's not smooth. Uh, it, well, you can start to get used to the reverse pilot controls, but just the controls themselves not being all that smooth make it kind of tough. Like there, I have no diagonal control right now, and that makes it somewhat difficult. Anyway, you get an idea. That's the game. So if uh, this was something that you wanted as a kid, or if this is a game that you had as a kid, well then first know that I'm a little bit jealous, but also give me a like on this video and then uh, check back soon. We're going to have more Atari videos to come. Thanks for watching.